It is the most important beverage in the world and consumed by one third of the global population. Coffee is the most valuable agricultural commodity. Over 2.5 billion cups of coffee is consumed every day worldwide from dawn to dusk. Coffee is grown in tropical and subtropical areas. The climate, soil and method of its production impact its taste. Most of all, the type matters. The coffee type known as coffee arabica is the finest of all it is kind and this coffee type was originated in the land of Oromo called Choche rural village. Choche is found in Goma district of the Oromo regional state in Ethiopia. Commemorating the origin of coffee arabica, ceremony was held in Sheraton Addis Hotel in the capital city, Finfinne. Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Hello Mariam Desaling, on the occasion said Ethiopia still views its agricultural production as a critical and main source of its accumulated capital, which will lead to industrialization. Among the agricultural commodities of Ethiopia, coffee has been at the forefront. The Premier also said Ethiopia eyes to further improve the income it gets from coffee especially through producing coffee by adding value to it. The initiative the Oromia region takes to uphold the focus given to coffee is encouraging. We've understood that the market system in which our coffee is making its way to the world market must improve. We will give a greater focus to the coffee sector in the coming GDP periods. Romia produces 77.6% of the coffee produced in Ethiopia and 70% of its export. Out of 18 zones of the region, coffee is intensely produced in 60 zones of it. The Premier defending the initiative the Romia region takes for the past five years to celebrate Coffee Day, he said it deserves to celebrate the day as it is the major source of the Ethiopian coffee. <laughs> Thus, Oromia region deserves to commemorate Coffee Day as a forefront because it is the region from where our country's 65 to 70 percent export and production comes from. The Oromia region alone can place Ethiopia second from the world by coffee production in the coming 10 years. We must not continue to send our coffee merely by washing and drying it, but we have to start to add value to coffee and export it in order to benefit our farmers. President of the Oromo Regional State Government, Mukhtar Kadir, for his part, said the Oromo Regional State has been engaged in boosting the region's coffee production through intense work of planting coffee tree seedlings. Mukhtar said the involvement of investors could further boost the production and invited everyone who is ready to take the share of the bean chocolate. <laughs> In the growth and transformation plan, we are working to maximize the coffee production and developing all available land for coffee production. We have a plan to double our productivity and we are registering encouraging results. Even though the private investor's role so far is encouraging, still there is much to be done in this regard. Rome owns around 3 million hectares of land that can develop coffee, but only close to 1 billion hectares of land is being cultivated, according to Zalalem Germane, head of the Rome Agriculture Bureau with the rank of regional vice president. <laughs> The land covered by coffee production in Oromia region in 2010-11 production year was not more than 400,000 hectares of land. In the past four years of the first growth and transformation plan period, we have managed to boost this production by additionally developing 500,000 hectares of land for coffee production. Thus, now we have 905,510 hectares of land developed for coffee. The production of coffee has also increased from 200,225 tons in the beginning of growth and transformation plan period to 302,729 tons of coffee in 2013-14. When the newly planted tree seedlings are started to give production, we will be able to achieve the plan we set to produce coffee with higher quality and quantity in a short period of time. Increasing the income from coffee is one of the main issues given focus on the coffee ceremony held in Sheraton Addis. For Professor El Gabisa, scholar with a closer look at the cash crops, farmers at the coffee farm are not getting what they deserve and he showed his fear that the production may decrease as a result. Professor, for joining us. 
my question is, why is the Oromia coffee so special? Why we say coffee arabica produced in Oromia is special? What is the reason behind? Coffee is a stimulant. So it's a matter of taste. There is no one type of Oromia coffee. There is Oromia coffee from Jumma, from Irga Chape, from Harar. And they're, they're preferred on the base of the taste in different parts of the world. The key thing is the taste, the taste that people like. How that taste is produced, it depends on the agronomy and what farmers do, their input, how they take care of it, where it's planted, the shade that, that, it, that, that exists. All of this contribute to the taste. And taste is an acquired thing. So people acquire taste and get used to it and they prefer it. But there is also this idea that the, Oromo, the Oro, uh, Ethiopian coffee or Oromia coffee uh, comes from the land of the origin of coffee. That also has some psychological impact on how people um, approach it and taste it. So it's, it's really a matter of taste. It's the farmer's long experience in, in growing the tree and then picking the coffee and then preparing it for, for the world market. But the primary thing is the taste. As on the stage, I've been being forwarded even by the Prime Minister that the production of Ethiopian coffee, especially the Oromia coffee, is not good enough. We have to increase it. He was just forwarding such comments. What do you think is the reason behind? What, what kind of things we have to do? As an expert, what do you forward that to increase the production of coffee in Oromia? What have to be done? Well, that the Prime Minister's statement is that he wishes to see Ethiopia continue to become a dominant player in the international coffee market. Uh, Vietnam, after introducing coffee only 30 years ago, is now the second largest producer of coffee. Now, that dep depends on the context, and the growers are the farmers, and the farmers are economic men. What matters to them is, is the price. So, just because they wished Ethiopia become a second largest producer of coffee, that doesn't translate into, into action. Um, they have other cash crops, like like chat or any other cash crop, uh, citrus fruits and all that. The price is what determines what the farmers decide to plant. When we have seen all over Ethiopia that co farmers from Harar to everywhere have uprooted their coffee trees, planted chat. It's a matter of economics. But there are other things like not only the beans, other products like the coffee husks could be used for other things like brick making or biofuel. In that case, if we can really use the coffee tree and the product efficiently, you could maximize the price and, and, and farmers would respond to it. So at the policy level, uh, we have to find ways of increasing the price of coffee for farmers. Then they will respond to it. Uh, researchers could, could conduct studies about the agronomy and farming techniques, uh, the production, and improving the taste. Uh, that's the, ultimately it's the consumer that determines what is ha going to happen on the production field. So I think cooperatively, the farmers, the unions, the um, cooperatives, uh, the government, um, in concert, could increase um, the possibility that the price of coffee could could rise. In that case, then the prime minister's statement and his vision could become true. So it. It requires cooperation at very various levels, the government, the producers, researchers, universities, all of this working in, in concert could, um, could bring co Ethiopia back to the uh, a dominant player in the coffee business. The private investors engaged in the production of coffee in Oromia are also increasing. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Can you tell me what kind of products you have, what kind of coffee types? I can see many types of coffee here. Yeah, we do have two types of coffee in Western Ararge. This one is the yellowish color, specifically produced in uh, Ararge, two Ararge uh, zone. And the other one is the Harar green and the sweetie uh, with good flavor and uh, aroma. What makes Probably. them special from other types of coffee? Uh, uh, they do have special aroma and flavor, other coffee. How do you grow it in organic way or other way? Yeah, okay, actually it's organic coffee, but we are on the process to certify with the organic certificate. Okay, where do you sell your products? Is it only in Ethiopia or you just export it to uh, Yeah, countries? as our union is the young union, okay. we start export of coffee at 
in the last year okay. uh, we export one container to South Korea. Okay. So what is the feedback from the South Korean market? A good, good market. We, we, yeah, we are able to incur $27,000. Exhibition which takes place beside the Coffee Day celebration also involved a display of honey production in Oromia. The honey production is very interrelated with coffee production. Of a 6 million bee family exists in Ethiopia and 52% of the 500 tons of honey production Ethiopia can produce comes from Oromia region. Even more, this production only accounts to 46% of the honey produced in the region. And this shows the great potential the Oromia region is endowed in the production of honey and coffee. Sun Kahe